When it comes to videos discussing how to make your first $1,000 on places like Warrior Plus or Clickbait, most people tend to focus on picking out a product. However, in today's video, we're going to focus on something else that's just as important, and that's getting traffic or getting people to click on your link. What's up guys, Stephen Horn here, affiliate marketer and online entrepreneur. And a few years ago, back when I was kickstarting my second affiliate marketing business, I took a course called the One Funnel Away course that basically helped me jumpstart my affiliate marketing business. A few months after that, I noticed that my traffic was slowly starting to decrease. This gave me flashbacks into the first time I lost my affiliate marketing business and I knew that I had to do something in order to correct it or this would be the second one that I would lose. So what I did was I went back to Russell Brunson and the ClickFunnels crew in order to see if there was something else I could learn. I ended up picking up my very first copy of the dot-com secret book which you can see right here mainly because Stephen Lawson, one of the presenters of the one funnel away challenge highly recommended it to us now one of the very first things that i learned in the dot com secret book was that every business needs to answer a few questions in order to help drive traffic to their business and ensure that their business survive by answering these questions for your business not only will you make your first one thousand dollars but you will also have the foundation to build a highly successful business for years and years to come now the very first question that you want to ask for your business is who exactly is my ideal customer I mean, if you can handpick the people that you work with, who or what would they be like? There are two reasons why you want to answer this question for your business. Number one, not everybody with money is going to be somebody you want to work with. For instance, when I first got started with my affiliate marketing business, a middle-aged man approached me about a product that I was promoting. He asked me, could I guarantee that he was going to have success with that product? Now, of course, I told him no because I didn't know him. I didn't know how much work he was going to put in. I didn't know how much time he was going to put into his success. And I didn't know how hard he was going to work for his success. So there was absolutely no way I can guarantee that he would have success with that product. When I said that, he got irate with me, started calling me all kinds of racial slur and everything. I just blocked his email and kept going about my day, lucky that I hadn't actually worked with that person. Back then, I had to really look at my affiliate marketing business and ask if this was the type of person that I wanted to work with. And I'm sure if you're like me, then the answer is a definitely no. So what I did was I sat there and I asked myself exactly who is it that I'm willing to work with. And I drew that person out. But this is something that I forgot to do when I started up again. So I ended up running into the same type of person and having to do the same exact thing. The more clear that you can identify the type of person that you want to work with, the clearer you are with the type of content that you're going to want to put out. That is because if you're clear on to who you want to work with, then you know exactly what they're looking for, what questions they're asking, and what they need to know in order to be successful and you can position yourself and to be in front of them with the content that you put out. After you figure out who is your ideal audience, the next question that you want to ask to make your first $1,000 as an affiliate marketer is where is your ideal audience? What do I mean by that? I mean, where are they hanging out online? What websites are they using? What social media platforms are they on? What search engines are they using when they have questions that they need answers for? A few days ago, I read an article that said the average American spent about two hours and 29 minutes per day on their social media platforms in the year 2020. It is your job as an affiliate marketer to take up some of that two hours and 24 minutes per day by providing them value. And what I mean by providing value is giving your audience what they are looking for. And you can do this in one of several different ways. You can either entertain, educate, or inspire your audience. 
Okay, if you're enjoying today's video so far, then I think you'll also enjoy my new program, smashing that like button. <laughs> and if you act within the next three seconds, I'll show you this gif of a cute puppy. Now that you know the who and the where, the next question that you wanna ask is what? What bait can I use to get people from going where I meet them to clicking on my sales funnel where I can provide them with extra value and build even more trust and rapport? What this means is that you're going to create a lead generator or a lead magnet in order to give to your audience to get them to move from social media or wherever you meet them and become a part of your email list or your newsletter. Can you guess what the next question is gonna be? If you said why, then you're absolutely right. Turns out our fourth grade teacher actually taught us something useful for once. <laughs> but the next question is why? Why should somebody buy from you and not someone else who's promoting that same product or service? And what I mean by that is, what is the unique result can you provide to your customers that no one else can? What is the unique take that you can give to your customer that no one else has thought about? Well, I don't know when it was started, but let's look at the health business for a good example for this. At some point in our history, one person noticed that people wanted to start losing weight and so they made weight loss supplements or even weight loss videos. This brought a huge rush to the weight loss industry that kind of saturated it. However, it didn't end there. When weight loss got oversaturated, people went to weight loss for men or weight loss for women or something like five minute workouts that you can do every day to lose weight a unique way of providing value to something that has become oversaturated. This is more or less what you wanna do for your business as well. And no, not everyone has to create a brand new sub niche. However, you can create your own take on something that already works. Now, all of this can take some time to implement. However, if you want a faster and quite frankly an easier way to get people clicking on your link then click on this top video right here where i show you a easy paid method that you can use to get people to buy using your affiliate link